From CARE 11 News, this is Extra Extra. Good evening, everyone, and welcome once again to CARE 11's Extra Extra. I'm Paul Major. And I'm Diana Pierce. If you are a little thin on top, don't despair. Tonight, we'll meet a guest who underwent a hair-raising experience, which he says was the best decision of his life. Here's Mark Daly with Gone Today hair tomorrow. Hundreds of hair transplant surgeons were in Las Vegas this year for their annual convention. Also at the convention, Dr. Ron Shapiro demonstrated one of the newest trends in hair transplants on a Minneapolis patient, Howie Pindike. By implanting just one hair at a time instead of big plugs of hair, the doctor hopes to give Howie a more natural look. Here's Howie before the surgery with a friend at Mystic Lake Casino and after in Las Vegas, looking forward to his new hair growing out. Uh, having hair in my head and not being insecure about people looking at my hair uh, will definitely help me. Uh, it should help me uh, find a girlfriend. <laughs> and, uh, but you know, it, I think overall it, 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 it's just part of my self-esteem and I think it'll be real good for me. Back in Minnesota, Dave Peters is another of Dr. Shapiro's patients who underwent the new micrograph surgery. Here's a close-up of what Peters looked like before and now after. It's certainly helped my self-confidence drastically. I feel good about the way I look. But even Peters warns, there are a lot of bad hair transplants out there. And the key to getting a good one is finding a qualified surgeon. Otherwise, you might be better off investing your money in a nice hat. Well, here's one guy you won't see wearing a hat anymore, Howie Pendyke, who you recall from the story, had a hair transplant a year and a half ago. Welcome, Howie, to you. Also joining us is Dr. Von Shapiro. Welcome to you, too, doctor. How, let me ask you just right out, what, what has this done for you? Well, without a doubt, uh, having hair makes me feel a lot more confident and self-assured. I don't feel like uh, people are looking at the top of my head unless they're trying to see uh, how far my bald spot uh, goes back. So That helps me a lot uh, in business and personal as well. Sure, so your self-esteem is way up there. Oh, yeah, for sure. You ever just look in the mirror sort of wonderment and go, wow? Yeah, for sure. Especially when I think I look about uh, 10 years younger. Right. That's what I was looking well, at. you were in Ace Ventura, right? Pet right. Detective? Yeah. With him in this Had a small part in uh, the original Ace Ventura. Uh -huh. And uh, at, the, at that time, uh, my hair was pretty much back here. Uh -huh. So uh, now I'm hoping maybe I can uh, get some better parts and uh, less thug parts these days. <laughs> <laughs> well, you really, it really does look good. Thank you. In all, in all sincerity. Now, Doctor, uh, tell me about this. I know we have some videotape that you've brought of a procedure, so maybe we can take a look at that and you can describe it for us. I'll be happy to. Yeah, yeah this diagram shows that the hair grows in natural groupings of one to three hairs, which is why we can do the procedure. The procedure is divided into these four steps, donor harvesting, graft preparation, making the recipient sites, and placing the grafts. Now we're at the beginning of the procedure where the donor area is being prepared, getting ready to take out the donor strip. And once the donor strip's taken out and we sew it up, you can barely see the incision after the hair has come down. Uh, the strip is given to the assistants, and the assistants will convert these strips into grafts. The first step in this is using the microscopes, they do something called slivering. Slivering is where they slice the strip like a piece of bread, and you can see they're going around every individual hair, not hitting one of them. This takes a lot of skill and it's a very important part of the procedure. Once you have a sliver, it is now converted into individual one, two, three, and four hair grafts, which you can see under this uh, picture. And this uh, video shows the uh, actual real-time creating individual one to three hair grafts. These grafts are then put into sterile saline to keep well hydrated. The next step is to make micro incisions in a pattern and distribution that mimic nature. And then the last fourth and final step is to place grafts in these tiny incisions in a gentle way. This is really the, the crux of the whole procedure where by putting these hairs so close together and so tiny, they just basically mimic a natural hairline. So you can't tell the difference between that and a natural hairline. Well, uh, let me ask you a question I always ask anytime I see something like that. Painful? To tell you the truth, uh, surprisingly, no. Surprisingly, no. Uh, other than a few needles that they use to give you local anesthesia to numb out your head, once you have the local in, you feel nothing at all the whole surgery. Even afterwards, which uh, you have pain medication prescribed, luckily enough, I, hadn't, I didn't need to take any. Right. Yeah, and, which was... And how long does it take for, the, for everything to be normal, I guess? You know, for everything to heal and, and all of that? It usually takes um, about, about a week and a half before the, the, the graphs look fairly normal. By the end of three weeks, you can't even tell anything was done. I mean, the scabs fall off, and these are so tiny that it's almost impossible for me to see it. 
Then he looks basically the way he looked before surgery. At about three months, the hairs start to grow. Between three and six months, you see a significant aesthetic change, and you get continued improvement up to a year. By the end of the year, what you see is what you get. Now, I know you brought some pictures with you, too, before and after pictures, and they're fairly dramatic, so maybe we can take a look at those now, and you can tell us what okay. we're seeing. Okay, this is Howie. Right on the left, you see, on the before picture, that's actually one day after surgery. So you see what the procedure looks like, how clean and how well it heals, even one day after surgery. And the next one is about six months later. Um, Howie, you look great. Thanks. Uh, this picture here is a good example. This shows the pattern that we try to follow. We try to put all the one hair grafts right in the front there, we try to put two hair grafts a little bit further back, and then the three to four is in the middle. And what that does is that mimics nature. It makes it, you can see the pat, you can see the pattern drawn and sure. then the incisions made. And this is this is actually after two procedures, about a year and a half later, you can see how natural the hairline looks. And um, this is a third patient um, who you see him before before surgery. You see about 1,200 grafts right after surgery, um, and then you see him about eight months later. This shows corrective work. The, on the left, what you have is the, large, the larger plugs, which can give the pluggy look. That's what hair transplants used to be associated right, with. Right, exactly. The, the large plugs didn't have to give a pluggy look, but when people didn't finish the procedure, or if it was done in other pe people who didn't know what they were doing, then it would give it. But you can correct it very good, as you can By see. By going back in with the single hair. Single, and one, twos, and threes. Yeah. yeah. yeah so it's a, nowadays, it's really, it's really good. It's very rewarding, because there's no longer a need to have an unnatural look with hair transplantation if you use the proper procedure. Oh, it really is interesting. Yeah. So it's very nice. I want to thank both of you uh, for being with us tonight. And Howie, uh, good luck on the big screen. Oh, and well. if you get stuck playing plugs, at least you'll be a thug with hair. Oh, that's true. <laughs> and I'll uh, get a love scene in there once in a while. Perfect, perfect. Uh, stay with us. There's a lot more ahead on Extra Extra. We'll be right back. <laughs>